if you're the listening audience, if they're 50 years or older, they will usually remember the name. They'll have this puzzled look on their face. Oftentimes they'll say, are you any relations too? And I'll go, yes, I am. I'm his son. Oftentimes, though, if you're younger than 50, they have no idea the name, the U2 incident. Uh, kids today, when I give lectures in high schools, will often think of the U2 rock band as opposed to the U2 incident when I go in to talk. So there's a disparity between the older generation and the current generation as to what they know about Cold War history. And this is one of the reasons I helped to found the Cold War Museum back in 1996. I suspect that I know the answer to this, but do you think it's bad that folks don't know about this incident today, especially the younger folks? Well, most definitely. Um, it, it, you have to understand that in order to understand current events, you have to understand what preceded and what contributed to what's happening today. So the war on terror is a direct result of the end of the Cold War. The Cold War is a direct result of the end of World War II. World War II is a direct result of the end of World War I. And so you have to understand history and how things fall into place to understand why the world is the way it is today.